Boom! Welcome back to a Mr. Lex Vlogs. Welcome to a Mr. Lex Vlogs. Welcome back, my people. I am your boy, Mr. Lix, and this is where I tend to get my views on a number of things taking place where in nobody get a garbage and the rest of the world by extension. So, with that said, guys, definitely don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. So, guys, yesterday I actually did a video on uh, Paybush. Uh, there was some sort of robbery that took place in Paybush, brothers and sisters. And it's rather interesting the similarities between Dominica and St. Lucia. Of course, they are colonized by the French as well as the English, and of course, a mixture of both of them right there, guys. And they pretty much have the same name Paybush, St. Lucia, brothers and sisters. As you can see right there, this of course was sent to me indicating that this video that I did on the reaction was indeed not in Pebush Dominica but that of Pebush in St. Lucia and of course Pebush is within the Babunier if I pronounce that properly the Babunier area in St. Lucia and we actually have a reporting of that of DBS St. Lucia right there stating exactly what happened from the owner of the store and this is it right there the market to purchase some goods for my business when I get back to my establishment somebody came to purchase Solfish well my cousin of course um, whilst I'm getting change for him, I went outside in the vehicle to get the change. Two guys passed me and walked in. I collected the change, went back in. They asked me for a pack of cigarettes. I took it. He then asked for a bottle of water and a juice. I did take that as well. He paid me with $20. When I bent down my head to get change for him, he came behind the cash put the gun to my head, asked me for the money, and then the other one that was there went and closed the door, whilst the third one that was on the vehicle came in and hold my cousin, beat him up, the two of them, slam him on the tile, and move out with about two sacks of drinks from my own sale. Now guys, in the reaction that I actually did indicating the very same situation involving the robbery, I indicated that I wish that there was some sort of camera outside and there actually was some sort of camera outside. However guys, based on the whole Rona situation, the individuals in question were actually wearing masks so it was pretty much hard to kind of figure out who these individuals were. And based on what I listened to guys, it seems like they haven't caught the perpetrators of this very incident right there. However guys, in relation to her cousin, who apparently was the individual on the other side of the video, who pretty much got beaten up, and of course, this is what uh, pretty much transpired in this regard. I cannot show the full thing, just for the sake of YouTube, but this is a little bit of an incident right there. Bandits made off with several bottles of alcohol and a few grocery items. Louise reveals that a cousin who suffered injuries as a result of his defiance of the bandits is doing well and is in a stable. I cannot continue showing the rest right there, guys, unfortunately. But the individual in question is definitely doing okay based on the reports right there. Thank God, because when he landed on the ground, brothers and sisters, he did not move again. And it's rather unfortunate that this situation took place because he was just waiting for his change, brothers and sisters. He was just waiting for his change for him to go on his merry way. However, thank God, it was not as worse as we thought he was because we saw this individual on the ground and we thought he was gone, man. The way he landed on his head and he was just unconscious and not moving at all but thank god he's okay just waiting for your change brothers and sisters i'm sure that we can probably see that he never expected that very same situation to happen the question i must pose there and i stated this on the reaction video as well i'll post a link of that in the description below by the way i think we must ask should we arm individuals and i was talking about dominica yesterday but i think in st lucia as well i think we need to arm our stock clerks because things are getting worse and christmas time is definitely coming and things might just get worse so i definitely do think that it's important that we arm ourselves when it comes into this situation right there get licensed firearms to protect ourselves because it could have got worse involving these individuals probably getting more injured or even dead and that is not quite right at all especially when it comes down to the christmas i actually met an individual today and of course he had an incident involving a boat engine that pretty much almost took out his face and he was pretty much bruised up and he was pretty much bruised up and of course in the healing process but definitely had life to definitely get to see christmas I know Christmas is about a month away or less than that Matthew because Christmas is actually on the 25th and of course we are on the 29th of November right there so it's less than a month away so guys please be careful out there. I forgot about being careful right there guys over the weekend in Dominica there was a bit of a rainstorm that took place and of course there was a number of regions that were flooded out and this first video is that of the Hampstead area right there. <laughs> No, guys, I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but apparently it seems like every time there's some sort of rainfall, it seems like the river always goes over the little bridge that it made 
right there. When are they gonna fix the bridge? This is one of the questions I wanna ask. When are they gonna be fixing the bridge in Dominica? The bridges in Dominica, especially when it comes down to this situation, because this can be very dangerous, especially if there's some sort of flash flood that takes place and the river comes down and a vehicle is passing right there. However, guys, this is not the only area that this took place in the Grand Bay region as well. This, of course, are two videos in this regard. <laughs> So the folks there were definitely not being careful. They tried their best to see if they could get across by crossing this dangerous situation right there. Guys, what can be done? I've actually seen in St. Lucia, they actually have some walkway path above the road for individuals to then climb up and then cross and then come back down in this regard. Should something like this be elevated in Dominica? What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know that in the comment box below right there. Now, guys, we talk about Dominica and St. Lucia. What about Guadeloupe and Martinique, guys? This video next is that of Guadeloupe. And of course, this was what was taking place about two days ago in Guadeloupe. <laughs> guys what you just noticed right there apparently the individuals in Guadeloupe were marching against the mandates that were taking place in the country and they were not standing for that at all so of course this was taking place as a string of events that were taking place in Guadeloupe and as well as Matinee and France as well but more specifically dealing with Guadeloupe in this regard where of course a number of incidents were taking place for which France had to send a number of army individuals down to Guadeloupe make sure that they try to curb this thing however the people were maintaining that they do not want these mandates at all and they finally got it, brothers and sisters. As you can see right there, they finally got it in this regard. France postpones this mandate after unrest in Matnik and Guadeloupe, brothers and sisters. Which, of course, they were not relenting at all. The people of Guadeloupe and Matnik were not relenting when it comes down to this situation. They said they do not want it. And they refuse to definitely be a part of this thing right there. So I think that is a good thing. Congratulations to them. Round of applause, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. For the Guadeloupe and Matnik people for standing up for what they believe is right and against them right there. Sometimes you have to stand, brothers and sisters. And imagine, guys, based on what was taking place during this time, especially about a week ago, where things were, where many was turmoil in the place right there because the people were fed up with that. And as a result, some sort of resolve has taken place where they postponed this very thing right there. Hopefully, it's completely taken off because the people will come back again. And when it comes, and guys, let's face it, when it comes into the French, the French don't play these kind of games, man. They don't play these games. They say they don't want it, and they will maintain that they don't want it. Hopefully, this kind of understanding can then trickle on to other countries where there is some sort of injustice, I would have to say. Injustice or something that has been forced on them that they don't want. However, guys, concerning the same situation involving the Rona, apparently, we are seeing something rather interesting that is taking place in South Africa. There's something I want to point out right there, guys. There's a new variant out there, guys. I'm not sure if I can say its name, but I'm not going to say its name. You can pretty much read right there. But there's something rather interesting going on. Apparently, in South Africa, Botswana, Israel, Belgium, Hong Kong, UK, Germany, Italy, and Czech Republic, they all have this new variant. But it's quite unfortunate seeing that countries banned from entering the United States are these countries right there. South Africa, Botswana, Iswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, and Zimbabwe are some of the countries that are being banned by the United States when it comes down to the situation. The question here is, why aren't the others who actually have this thing not banned? Israel, Belgium, Hong Kong, UK, Germany, Italy, Czech Republic are not banned. These are the countries that actually have the the new variant but they are not banned it's quite interesting when you look at this right there guys because it's the african countries that they seem to be banning and not the others with the actual variant in there why is this because if you're trying to protect your borders from getting the new variant why then ban some countries with this variant versus the other countries with the same variant but you're not banning these countries you're banning the country that has the least cases out of all the countries that doesn't make sense to me brothers that don't make sense to me at all based of this 
reading right there guys and i know that they are banned south africa for sure when it comes on to the united states and we hear that these other countries are also banned as well but that is not a good thing especially considering that other countries have it but you are allowing them to fly into the united states they're not banned from entering yet still you ban in the other countries furthermore my understanding is that the variant did not come from South Africa, they were watching it there. I remember sometime in August, July, August, around there, where they were talking about this new variant and they were watching it to see how it was going. And then all of a sudden, I don't understand, guys. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, right there and there. When it comes into media, guys, it is very interesting what is taking place. I actually posted some stuff on my Instagram story. If you guys want to check it out, you will see the thing floating up there, guys. Definitely go check out the Instagram, MrLix underscore BRBPTV, I believe it is. <laughs> uh, definitely go check it out. Just type in MrLix and you will see me there and follow me there and you'll get to see my stories in this regard right there. There's some interesting, important information I think that you might find very interesting. And with that said, guys, this is the next clip that I want to show you guys right there. It says the best way to fight this new variant, apparently, is to turn off your TV. And of course, if you were on my Instagram, you'll definitely understand what exactly I'm talking about. I cannot post it here, unfortunately. That is the sad thing about YouTube sometimes. You cannot post certain things for the fear of getting your channel taken down or getting a copyright strike. And of course, you're trying to avoid this right there. So definitely go to Instagram, MrLix underscore BRBP TV or Mr. just type in MrLix and you will get my uh, Instagram handle right there and then. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much all about for this year vlog. I am hoping to do a reaction soon. So definitely, guys, go check that out. I'll post the links in the description below so you guys can definitely check them out after you finish enjoy this year video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up right there and then don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come for to become a part of to become what to become a part of the mr Lix family right there and then guys be real tell you we cannot people them to stop all that dirty stinking ways brothers and sisters and with the most highs up as always guys definitely without a shadow of a doubt definitely stay put up welcome to our mr Lix vlogs I will blow Wow This life is a constant uphill battle But it's also filled with some beautiful moments